What's good, y'all? It's boy Ross back at again with another video. So, just finished the live stream uh, reactions with the homie Dub for this uh, tough episode of SmackDown tonight, man. Uh, WWE did a tribute to uh, Terry Funk and Bray Wyatt, and I'm going to talk about that and uh, talk about some of the things that went down on the show. Um, but yeah. Shout out to everyone that was a part of the chat. Um, someone had asked us in the Discord or was suggesting that maybe we don't live stream, um, you know, for you know what recently happened with Bray passing. And uh, I had to let that person know, like, nah, we're going to live stream. We're going to be in the chat talking about some of Bray Wyatt's best moments, you know, some of Terry Funk's best moments. You know, what was their favorite matches, their experiences with Bray or meeting Bray? Uh, or Terry Funk, and a few of you guys had let us know that y'all met Bray before, he was real cool, got to take pictures and stuff, let us know when you saw him live, and that's what the stream was for, it was more so about just celebrating his life and what he was able to do for us, and entertaining us in that square circle, him and Terry Funk, so they start off the show, everybody's on stage, everybody on stage and michael cole by ringside and you know they're talking about terry funk passing away and, and bray wyatt passing away and you know pretty much everyone's there mostly everyone's there or whatnot and they you know they rung the bell 10 times uh you know while everybody was uh, silent and uh what started to give me just a little bit well, first, before I get into that, seeing everybody have their phones out, like the fireflies, that was a beautiful sight to see. But what started to get me was seeing uh, Zelina in the front. She started tearing up and started seeing other people tear up, start seeing Braun Strowman was out there, too. It, it, it started to give me a bit. I ain't going to lie to you because it's just all these people came to see him and and show their respect and love and they did a very beautiful package tonight and the whole show throughout the commercial breaks different vignettes packages uh of bray or whatnot and what he's done in his career i uh, also like that they added qr codes during some of the breaks or before the breaks uh where you can get some of the merch or whatnot and the proceeds would go to his family as it should so if you guys were able to purchase some of the merch from the qr codes um that's where the money's supposed to be going to his family or whatnot um it was it was just just a, a surreal moment to see the love and admiration people had showing people's twitters like different wrestlers twitters talking about their love and experience and and compassion um that they have for bray in their tweets and stuff like that it was cool to see uh i like the fact that cody came out there and did a tribute to terry funk they had a video package for him as well that was beautifully uh beautiful touch you know beautifully uh uh beautifully set up or whatnot uh how they did that and i gotta talk about this la knight having his match against finn balor that was that was a nice way how they ended off the show obviously finn balor having his his uh i guess you can say run in with bray wyatt when we first got introduced to the fiend or whatnot and then la knight was bray wyatt's last opponent ever unfortunately um last feud or whatnot so la knight was uh actually going to address the miz and i will say this even though this was a serious moment la knight cooked the miz in his promo but i'm not gonna really talk about that i just want to talk about the stuff he said about bray and i like what they did there he they didn't go out there and have him be like oh bray was my best friend you know he, he made it clear like we weren't best friends or anything like that but he showed respect he showed um he showed him gratitude he said if i can make it through with bray i can make it through anybody like bray has prepared me for any challenge or any obstacle that comes my way if i can make it through him 
and him acknowledging the people, the fireflies that were there, and him acknowledging the energy that was in the buildings, like this is all brave or whatnot. And I like the little callback. Because like I said, he was cooking the Miz after he initially talked about Bray and everything that's going on there. He decided to preheat the oven to 350 degrees and cook the Miz. Miz had said something on TMZ. So this was his rebuttal and he did a, a damn good job. And then he brought it back home when he said, a wise man once told me, he got close to the camera and he's addressing the Miz at this point. A, a wise man once told me, when you see me, run. And obviously, that's what Bray told him. When you see me, run. And they had a fun match. Him and uh, Finn Balor, uh, LA Knight had a fun match or uh, whatnot. And, you know, he wins the match. As LA Knight is leaving, you know, you have the glitched out sound. The lights start going off one by one. You see this fog in the ring. And then you see the lantern. And then you see Bray Wyatt's picture on the titan tron and that's how the show goes off where everybody with their phones as fireflies with the lantern in the ring smoke around it everyone's saying thank you bray and that was it they did a great tribute show to terry funk and bray i appreciated it this was a show i was not gonna miss and uh it, it even that ending started to choke me up just a bit because it it started and set in even more that this is this is really a thing and i hopefully they do something for him on monday night raw i hope they do um but yeah this this show full of emotions but once again we had a good time because we were you know with you guys in the chat and uh you know we're there to just remember bray and celebrate everything that he has done so far in wwe we'll never forget it the same thing for terry funk everything he's done for wrestling as a whole um but yeah this was a uh, very emotional show and uh, i wouldn't have missed it for the uh for the world um but yeah that was Friday Night Smackdown and as a whole. Comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys enjoy the tribute that WWE gave to Bray Wyatt and Terry Funk? Because uh, I, I, I think they did a very good job. And hopefully they do some type of tribute to him on Monday Night Raw. Because, you know, there needs to be a tribute to Terry and Bray there as well. So, but I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Road to 150K. And I'm still your undisputed YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.